What is going on everybody? In today's video, I want to talk about some problems in Old School RuneScape that I have with the game and that I absolutely think need to be addressed. Now, not everybody sees these as problems and not everybody is going to agree with the opinions I have for this video. But in the video, these are my top five problems in Old School RuneScape that need to be addressed like right now. Everybody has something that they probably have a gripe about, um, but these are my five. And I would actually like to know what you guys think and if there is another important problem or if you see something that might be more important than any of the things on this list, drop a comment below. I do like to read the comments on all of my videos. Um, I don't get the chance to reply to all of them, but I do try to reply to as many as I can because I like the conversation and I like seeing your guys' ideas. Today's video is brought to you by me. It is literally brought to you by me. If you haven't had a chance yet, check out the description down below. There is a link to my Etsy store. Everything in this shop is handmade by me and shipped directly to you from my home office. Got all kinds of cool stuff in there. Recently added some new things. If you haven't had a chance yet, check out the player owned house gaming mat. Uh, this one is a cheat sheet for all the teleports in your player owned house. Super helpful for when you're camping easier medium clues. Uh, the combat triangle mouse pad is also in there. That one has also been pretty popular. And the things that I'm most proud of are the aluminum signs. I started doing some aluminum signs. You can get it customized with your old school RuneScape name on it. My favorite is the combat triangle one. We also have a wilderness warning sign in there. Put that up wherever you want on the door to your man cave, on the door to your gamer room. Maybe get it framed and put it up on your desk, whatever floats your boat. And real quick, before I end this, thank you guys for 793 sales as I'm making this video. Almost 800, and you guys have given me an average review rating of five stars. So thank you guys. Check out the link in the description below. If you have any ideas for products, please let me know. I'm always looking for new stuff. All right, guys, so let's get into this list. So again, this is my top five problems in old school RuneScape that I believe need to be fixed uh, more hastily uh, than not. Uh, I think these are problems in the game that can pretty much spiral out of effect and lead to uh, a drop in player base if it hasn't already and just pretty much instability to the economy in the game itself. Uh, so number five is going to be like mass item quantities and drops and two very good examples I can give you guys from this. Uh, the first one being Torstal Seeds. Um, this one actually really makes me very annoyed and it's Jagex adding these massive item quantities to new content that comes out that really just tanks the price of items. So on the screen now, you can actually see the Grand Exchange Market Watch from the wiki uh, for the Torstal Seed. And you'll notice um, right there around the tail end of summer, it's about July or so. And this is when the Tombs of a Masket came out, the price of Torstal Seeds just tanked. And you can see it drop down from about 50,000 GP down to about 25 in just the course of about a month. And then you just see that graph just trailing lower and lower and lower until where we are today. The price of a Torstal Seed, as I'm making this video, is around 6,500 GP. And this item, the Torstal Seeds, like they make some of the highest level potions in the game. And now there's Torstal Seeds just literally everywhere because TOA drops so many of them, it's not even a good drop anymore. If you were having a bad task at like say the Aver Inspectors or something and maybe pull a couple Torstal Seeds, eh, well, it takes your profit up a little bit, but about 100K um, depending on the time that you got those Torstal Seed drops. And even before that, outside of a year, uh, they were worth a little bit more um, than what you can see on this chart. Another good example I can show you of this is actually the Sanfu Serum. And the Sanfu Serum, this one I'm using the actual graph for the Sanfu Serum on the Grand Exchange because um, this was within six months. So when the Wilderness Boss rework happened, uh, tons of people started camping that and you just see Sanfu Serum drops all the time. Even in my own clan chat, a lot of people camp those Wildy Bosses and you just see those huge Sanfu Serum drops coming up all the time I have my loot thing set to 500k in my uh, clan chat and you can see around the time of when the uh, wilderness boss came out uh, the update somewhere around 35,000 GP and then you see that just that sheer drop in that item value all the way down to about 27,000 GP in just a matter of a couple weeks um, from all of them flooding into the game and you see it go down even more and as of right now 25,000 GP so in just the course of about 
three to four months uh, since the Wilderness Boss update hit, um, it cut the price of Sanfu Serums in half. And these are actually a pain to make with the Herbaler skill. Um, so you don't really see that many players actually making them. They do all come from monster drops, uh, which made them a little bit more of a rarity. They were quite expensive before, and it was a really good profit when you did get some of them. The Kraken drops a couple of them at a time, and that was actually a really nice drop from the Kraken uh, before they started flooding the game from the Wilderness bosses. So basically what I'm getting at here is I'd really like to see Jagex stop putting um, these previously high ticket items um, that were not so much a common drop. They're probably more listed as an uncommon drop, um, but not a rare. Uh, but it was still a nice bump in profit whenever you did see uh, one of those drops before they just start getting massively introduced to the game in huge quantities. Number four for me is going to be mini games. Um, tell me the last time you went to a mini game in old school RuneScape and actually had uh, a decent amount of people there. Uh, and I'm not talking about like Guardians of the Rift or Winter Tot or anything like that because those are, they give experience and skills. Uh, so they're pretty much always going to be packed. But I'm talking about other mini games outside of that, like Castle Wars and uh, Trouble Brewing, just other mini games like that. I mean, they are just dead. Like, they're literal dead content. The only thing that mini games really give to the game now is collection log slots. And people do that in grind, and they don't even want to keep the items that they get. Uh, they just want to fill the collection log. Uh, me personally, I am doing collection log filling. I haven't even started with mini games, but I'm absolutely dreading that. Uh, just because it's so slow nowadays. Nobody wants to play, and the rewards are pretty useless. Um, not gonna lie, they don't really do anything. I know they're mini games, but I think there should be some incentive to these mini games as to where they might actually reward you with something kind of useful. Um, the only mini game that I really see being useful at this point is Last Man Standing. It does give some rewards that are pretty useful, uh, such as the imbue scroll for the Magic Shortbow. Um, that's actually pretty nice to have. But outside of Last Man Standing, there's not many mini games in the game anymore that give you, you know, certain things. Uh, honestly, I like Stealing Creation from back in the day because it did reward you uh, with some tools that you could use that would give you XP buffs. Um, and it wasn't like super fast to get from what I remember. You actually had to take some time and grind out for those items, but it did provide you a benefit in the long run. Um, so maybe Stealing Creation is something that we could possibly see in the future in old school runescape i think it would be a good benefit and it would start to get the community moving again um, as far as community collaborative events go or you know just mini games as a whole um, but i think jagex needs to take some time to update some of the old outdated mini games because some of them can be pretty fun with the right group now this next one for me number three might be a bit controversial um i am of the mind where i like old school runescape uh, the way it always has been. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't have updates to the game. I'm not one of those people that's like, leave my old school alone. It has to stay the same as it was in 2007. That's just not possible. You have to have updates. You have to have new things coming into the game. Otherwise, it gets stagnant and every max player is done once they hit max. There's nothing else to do after that if you never have updates to the game. So updates definitely are necessary. However, I am actually kind of tired of seeing easy mode stuff introduced. RuneScape is historically a grindy game. It's a grind. Um, some people make fun of it and say it is a clicking simulator, and you're not entirely wrong, um, but it is for a certain type of person that does enjoy that grinding aspect of the game. Now, what I'm getting at here is all of these mini games that come in, uh, such as Guardians of the Rift and um, the uh, uh, Fishing Boss Temporos and Winter Tot. Um, they're all really easy XP for those skills. Now, fire making, I can see fire making, uh, winter tot's fine because fire making was just absolutely stupid. You just burn logs forever back in the day until you hit 99 and that was pretty much it. So winter tot, I'm pretty okay with. As far as Temporos goes, um, it, it's okay, but it's still introduced a uh, way into the game to provide you with a good amount more fishing XP than you could and fishing used to be pretty good. I mean, it used to be a pretty profitable skill Even though it was slow when the prices were up, but uh, now you see it dropping a lot of prices And it's just really not what it used to be and Guardians of the Rift um, Rune crafting is an achievement to me getting 99 runecraft is a huge achievement in old school or rather it used to be um, 
It took a lot of dedication and determination to get to 99 runecrafting through the old methods. Even Zaya runecrafting, it still took you a couple hundred hours to get 99. And again, that is a huge uh, achievement uh, to me. And then in the future here, we have that forestry update coming. Um, not really sure how I feel about it. Um, I guess sort of still on the fence about it. Uh, but if anything, I would not like to see any higher XP rates with the forestry update um, than what we see right now. Because again, woodcutting is another skill that is can be a grind. It can be a long grind unless you really want to sit there and uh, two tick teaks or three tick teaks, whatever it is. Uh, but as far as forestry goes, I really hope that they don't put like increased XP rates in there to get people to 99 faster. Make me super happy if it stayed relatively the same XP rates. My number two pick uh, for this list is going to be division of the community on the new skill. Um, I think this one is a super important issue to the integrity of the game. I don't like any of the new skills they pitched, I'll be 100% honest with you. I did vote for shamanism because I thought it fit into old school the best. Um, sailing is still a meme to me, it is literally just a meme skill. Uh, taming, that was just bad, uh, to be 100% honest with you. It was literally, if you read the skill description of it, it was literally Pokemon in old school RuneScape, so that was just, that was just not good. Uh, shamanism for me was the one that I picked and unfortunately it didn't win. Unfortunately, the meme skill sailing um, did get it. Now, here's my problem with this. All right, you gave people an option to vote for um, as many skills as you wanted. Select all that apply. Uh, first of all, why? Um, no, there should not have been a select all that apply option uh, for the new skill vote. Now, there was 178,000, almost 179,000 votes for this poll. Um, I'll put the uh, poll results up on the screen here. And Sailing got 105,799 votes at 59.2%. Shamanism lost by 0.4%. Um, I really think it's too close to call. Now, to be honest with you, I only voted for one. I voted for shamanism. I did not agree, like I just said, with the I don't like any of them option um, or uh, the skip question is obviously fine. Um, it only got 1,961 votes anyways. Uh, but what I want to know is what happened to that 70 or 75 percent that had to pass a poll. I, I don't I really, really do not like that that didn't apply. And people, this might be a hot take, but people are going to be like, oh, well, they just had to pick the highest one, or they just had to get something going. No, you don't. Now, I've been maxed for almost three years now, and I 100% agree that there does need to be a new skill in old school RuneScape. You have to have skill expansion to keep the game going, just like I was talking about uh, earlier with updates and stuff like that. Uh, but for this one, I really don't agree that they passed it and they were they chose a skill based on the 60 almost 60 percent that ch voted for sailing um i just don't think that is enough for the entire community um when sailing comes out uh how many max players do you lose to this just because they think it's stupid or it doesn't fit into the old school game as it should um i really really do think that they should have went back to the drawing board for this and um, we should have got some more pitches, guys. Uh, I'm not, uh, 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 that is how I feel about it, and I am not going to change my mind on that, no matter what anybody says. Um, it, you just, you have to, you have to have more people that agree on something than, than 60%. I mean, that's 40% of your player base, um, that disagrees with, with the new skill, and that is way too many people in a game of this age to say, no, I don't like this and I don't want this. Um, and the same goes for shamanism too, even though it was only 0.4% behind, um, that's still another 40% that say, uh, no, this isn't good enough. We need to see something else. Um, I'd really like to know your guys' thoughts on this. Um, I'd like to know the community's opinion as a whole. Um, I, I just, this one, I can't get over this one and it blows my mind. It's not my number one. Um, because I think there is one more issue that is more important than that, which we'll get into uh, right now. My number one problem with old school RuneScape at this current time is the server issues. Um, I, I'm, I know most of you have noticed this, uh, all the server issues with this game. They are bad. 
Um, I can't put it any better or any lighter or try to be nice about it. It is not good. The best example I can give you for this is, you know, obviously I'm a content creator, so I play a lot of RuneScape. I play just about every day um, for I don't know how many hours. Some days it could be two, some days it could be eight, some days it could be 12. It just depends on what I'm working on or what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, but I do notice every single day, doesn't matter what day of the week it is, Monday through Sunday, every day, every week, for months and months and months, around two o'clock p.m. Eastern time, I can tell my clicks stop responding as well as they should. Now, I don't know what it is about 2 p.m. Um, 2 p.m. Eastern time, that means it's uh, 11 a.m. on the West Coast in the United States, um, over in uh, Britain, England, whatever. Uh, it's uh, 7 p.m., um, so most of those people have already hopped on for the day, uh, but it's really bad. You can really tell that your clicks are slowing down. Now, I hang out in World 491, uh, which is obviously very close to where I live, uh, the server anyways. Uh, my ping in that world is usually between 7 and 10 MS. So it's, it's very good. I have very good ping. However, I still notice that my character moves very slow after I click, and it also prayer switches. And the first time I actually started noting, noticing this was at Cerberus when the ghosts come out. I noticed around 2 p.m. that when I start to switch prayers for the ghosts, it's a very slow prayer switch. Like you click, and it seems like it's more than at least more than one game tick for it to switch sometimes. And that's really a problem. And that actually makes me as a player not want to attempt things in the game. Um, that really depend on latency and ping and, you know, just your clicks being on time. Uh, the Inferno being something that, uh, I, that concerns me with. And I only generally notice that my clicks respond pretty well to the game, uh, between the hours of about 6 AM and 2 PM on the East coast. Um, now that's not the only thing. It's just the servers in general. Um, even still to this day, there's a good, a bit of connection lost issues. You'll see that pop up every now and then. It does happen to me on quite a regular basis, and I have pretty good internet. Um, I don't pay for the best package at my house where I live, uh, but I do get 400 megabytes down, and it is uh, it's it is symmetrical, so I get 400 down and 400 up uh, for my internet package. So I really should never be seeing any issues on a game as old as RuneScape. So that's really it. Uh, I wanted to talk about these five issues because I think they have a huge impact on the game. Um, I have a pretty decent following on YouTube, over 80,000 subscribers now, um, so I think that's a good pool of people to kind of get their opinions and how they feel about these issues as well. And like I said earlier, I would also like to know if there are other important issues that you may see that might be more important than the five I listed here, or maybe just take one of the other spots place on this list. So if you have any opinions, uh, please do leave them down below. I will try to read all of them and I'll try to respond to as many as I can, get some conversations going and see what we can do about this. You never know. Uh, you never know what can come from YouTube videos like this. If it gets enough traction and then Jagex sees it and they're like, oh, well, maybe we should do something about this. Uh, you never know what kind of fire it could light. Um, so if you could uh, like the video, when you do like the video, it makes sure that the algorithm sees that and it makes, uh, makes it get suggested to more people. Then they see it, and that's how things go viral. That's how things spread. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please tap the subscribe button on your way out. Uh, again, I'm at 80, 000, over 80,000 subscribers now, and I really haven't been paying attention to that. So I just wanted to just say thanks real quick for that. Uh, lots of support for the channel over the several years that I have been doing this. It's been a lot of fun, and I'd love to continue doing it. Um, so thanks, guys. Uh, with that, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.